fast strategies and how you can go about making some cash, some quick cash online and what we call, of course, cash games in NHL. That's NHL strategy. And this is particularly here on FanDuel. And what I'm directing you first here to see is where I'll be having a lot of this information stored here um, whenever there's a big slate. So when I say that, maybe you know at least eight games on a slate on a given night, such as we'll have on this particular night. i got to update this. But on the 25th of January here, um, you're going to see these numbers here, which are standard deviation, uh, given some idea of the upside, which allows that upside, and uh, especially in tournament plays or GPPs, and the uh, coefficient variable, which I need to fill these in and do this to have this updated for you. So you can see exactly um, how consistent, of course, the lower the coefficient variable, such as, for example, I left this one on right here, which is 0 0.55. Uh, this guy from Nashville doing just fine here in a consistency uh, metric. So we have a lot uh, really to talk about. Um, I'm going to try to just really keep this about 20 minutes long so that you can know and have a good understanding in in the next video, see what I need to cover uh, as far as the demand is concerned, I suppose. So right now, um, see, this is a large slate for tomorrow, tomorrow's games. Um, <clears throat> all these teams here, so you got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 games. That's a full slate right there. So uh, what I'm going to do is take an example of a game that can be enough high scoring where we'll get some points. Um, there are, obviously, there's many options and choices, so you can look through and do some of these yourself. And so I'll show you what to do. So going ahead, I'm going to take this matchup here at 10 p.m., the Jets playing at the Ducks. So what I'll do is to get a better idea or understanding first of these teams' records, which I'll use as information uh, later, and to get a better good idea, um, the Jets are first in the Western Central Division, and they're at 28 and 13 record. It's pretty good at 63 points. They lead their division as well in points. And even compared to like uh, the Pacific Division, the only team that got over 60 points was the Golden Knights. And if you just want to look at more, a little bit more comparison, of course, you can dive deeper in these. A Metropolitan Division only had one team score at least 61 points. So uh, the Jets do score a lot of points. And we get some production out of these lines, as we'll find out. They won two in a row, so that's good. Maybe they can make it three versus the, uh, what team was this? Yes, yeah, the Ducks. So looking at the Ducks, even though they're playing away, uh, the Ducks being home, let's see what we can get out of the Ducks, what kind of production. Just an idea. Uh, rough idea. Obviously, these games, um, from my experience so far, they can be. There's a lot of variable in. Sometimes you know the worst team beating the the best team in the league. It just happens any given night. But probabilities also suggest, of course, that these a lot of times um, games will play out as such. So the Ducks have a 22 and 17 record. They score about. They have scored 53 points. So they're not as high scoring, obviously, as um, the Jets. All right, so let's take a look at the Jets then. Where you go first, I recommend the first site would be dailyfaceoff.com. All right, and waiting for that to pull up, you'll be able to look and sort out lines so that you get a better understanding of who's playing where and the power plays. And uh, as this is sort of for a beginner to look at uh, all these metrics and numbers as that's still pulling up here. Okay, so we need to get to the Jets. So we just select our team right here. Once we get to the line combination section of the site. Oops. I've already done this actually for all the other teams except this particular matchup. I kind of left it for the video to uh, analyze all the different matchups for the night so we can get the best chance of winning our cash games, whether you're playing for a dollar or five dollars or whatever it is. So the Jets here, Winnipeg, and 
and we'll just wait for that to load next. What we're looking for uh, while it's loading is uh, it'll show us power play options, of course. We're really favoring uh, guys that play in the power play. We're favoring, of course, play guys that play in the number one line who play the most, and perhaps guys in the second line. Also, obviously, uh, the defend these are the front three, but also the back two guys on defense. So we got Connor, Wheeler, Lane, and we'll look at the second line later. Coming down, it's on the front line, uh, Morrissey and Troba. Okay, <clears throat> so we have already here first power play unit, Lane, uh, Connor, Wheeler. These guys are on the first line, right? Let's just double check. Lane, Wheeler, and Connor. So not only are they all in the front line, first line, they're all in the power play. Okay, awesome. So we got some, some guys to work with here. Hopefully their prices are not too bad. Um, not negotiable, of course, on FanDuel, but we'll see what we get. And then there's a second power play, of course, and other factors here. But uh, just to look at, for example, I see that this guy named Dustin by Fuglian, he's um, third line down on the defense and pairing. So uh, even though he's on the power play, we'll just um, take a look at his scoring average and so forth, his numbers, his um, – algorithm as well um i'll try to explain that and then this guy roslovich roslovich where does he play he plays down here in the fourth line so he's not going to give us a whole lot of production other than the power play as well so but in considering this game of course um thinking about cash games you know while it's could be important, but not the primary importance because um, every team is not getting a power play every game. So you want to make sure that, you know, you are especially doing this in, in tournament plays, but the power play just helps assist when there is a guy um, on the second or first line that it's sort of looked at as a bonus, obviously, a power play. Um, so, you know, if you can match, say, any three of these guys, along with one of these guys down here, uh, Little, Peralt, which is not the case in the power play. That's kind of ideal, really, because a lot of people could get confused. I know I was at first about, well, should I just pair up, stack up guys from the power play or stack up guys from the first line? Well, it depends, uh, first of all, whether you are playing in a tournament or a cash game, and then second of all, what kind of value are you getting out of the player? So let's get into that now. As we'll dissect the value of these players. And there's a lot of information here about that. So the Winnipeg Jets, let's see. This is draft dashboard while I'm scrolling through and looking for the Jets that this program or software you can get online gives you a lot of algorithms. Um, okay, so here's the Jets. But it'll break it down simply right here. It's only showing uh, five players. These are supposed to be the starting five, including the goalie. So actually it's missing a defender. So it doesn't actually have the whole starting six, that is, but... Shows like the top five, um, supposedly, I think it's arranged in fantasy points per game. Um, you can check to verify that here in the depth chart, top five guys. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's see if that is arranged as such. It's not really arranged like that when you look at it in here, but you can sort them all out. But remember, the key thing is most importantly, we're looking for those guys that we just looked at on the front line. And power play. So we would just watch this guy, Wheeler. We also want to watch just looking for who else. Hmm. This guy, Roslovich, he was a power play guy, but he's very inexpensive. Wow, let's take a look at that again. 
because um, you can find a good steal and a, a low cost option, just like in any daily fantasy sport game, any sport, you know, a great value. And uh, that's the case here. This guy Roslovich is um, very cheap to be playing on the first power play unit is one thing I noticed. I remember we're looking for Lane, Connor, and by Fuglin because these guys are in the front, um, in the front of the first line anyway. So let's see here. So we're going to watch him, even though he only gets a few points per game, and see if we can find any more information on that later on. And then uh, who else do we have here? By Fuglin, Connor, and the last guy who was it on the power play. We got Wheeler, oh, and Lane, okay? So we have basically the power play watched. And then we'll look at, look at anybody else that we think might now. This can go according to the dash rank. As you can see, there's a lot of information there. Uh, we can look at, for example, let's say with Wheeler here on the front line. He's healthy. He's got a dash rank of 68 out of 100. Position rank is actually 23rd. Uh, that's interesting, okay, for um, a winger. Um, his season value, 463 per point. That's okay. It's doable. It's not bad. It's not great. Projected points to be at for the night, 16.5, which is about his average, as we can expect that, okay, get this many points out of him. Hopefully, you know, on average, uh, this is what he'll be doing. So this may be a player that I'll look to get deeper into provided on the website. Again, that was actually WealthyFantasyFootball.com and provide these numbers here to see how consistent he does compare uh, into the other, you know, with the other players that we'll look at here. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll um, look to insert at least in a cash game two of these guys uh, into a lineup. So we've got a lot going on, you know, like I said, a lot, a lot of teams for the night. But this is how I pick a team. Look for a team. That's getting a decent amount of winning going, maybe on a little wing streak, streak, find top line power plays, watch them uh, on the on draft dashboard or write them down, whatever you have to do. If you don't have um, draft dashboard, I'll provide a link right below the video here and how to get that It's sign up for it and you can do a trial version of it for a dollar. No problem. Um, so you can go ahead and. Um, you know, make sure you're, that's how you're choosing to start a setup because I know a lot of people may ask a question like I did. Well, where do I start? How do I start to find players? Um, as we'll look at here, as I've pretty much done every team, I didn't do the ducks, but um, to look at the studs for the night. And most of the time, you know, when I do my consistency coefficient variable, just like in my last video, I show you how to actually calculate the numbers yourself. You can do that with any, with any one of these guys um, to show you how about, you know, seeing which one, which of these guys um, turned out to be in the top um, dash rank in terms of value. Obviously, Jake Gardner is not the, the best player in the league, you know, at 100%. No, we're not doing that. So uh, <laughs> we're not buying into that idea here. What we're doing simply pretty much is uh, right now it's actually not showing all the games because we're the night before. So it's not showing all the games, you know, that are going on. But I just want to show you this anyway, because it's showing here that our, actually Gardner, as we'll look at as a uh, defensive rank 23, uh, that this will show us that he's his recent value is only costing you in recent, you know, games since he moved up on the line, it was an injury or something. I believe that happened. So he's at 253 points. So remember, the other guy we just looked at was 400 some value per point. So you get a lot more per point uh, of your out of your dollar value for a point out of this guy right here. And you can even compare it to the season value of 459, you know, per point, which is pretty average. So right now he's uh, achieving a little bit more than he's usually doing or had done before. And at this price, you know, it's very good, so keep it uh, down like that. So I won't be able to actually come up with a lineup here. I mean, I could put it 
if the timing was right into FanDuel, but I'm not going to do that right now as I've, you know, I could do it in another video. That's probably what I'll do next is just show you how to put it together uh, inside of FanDuel um, as far as what, how that'll go and what will happen with that. Uh, I'm just going to check my timing here. So I'm at about 15 minutes. As far as what else you can do to, in preparation before uh, these games, you can look come over to the site, which I've shown before, dailyfantasysportsrankings.com. Sports and you would just go to, uh, like, the, the um, you know, the article of the day. So, for example, the other day it was uh, the 23rd. Because I noticed this happened in football, uh, basketball, that somebody would put down here in the comments. This is a really valuable, you know, because they show here, of course, top goalies, top whatever, you know, cheats, cheat sheets or handicaps, as you want to call them, uh, for the week or for the day, rather, and show you some guys to consider. And But then when you go down here to the comments, as you'll see, you can pick up and just uh, view or download this spreadsheet right here. <clears throat> okay, so this is awesome. <laughs> Um, and this is free, you know, it provides a bit more information than the draft um, dashboard, but the draft, the draft dashboard has a lot of advantages that this is not because you can arrange players, watch them as I, I had shown you, I had done and arrange them in order, optimize, come up with a lineup that's affordable and so forth and so on, you know, have the algorithm as the best overall players, studs, um, all those different things. You can look for sleepers arrange them according to the teams like we did, all sorts of things. So, But this is really nice and valuable as well because uh, as this is loading here, there's going to be all kind of options like really sh already shown here on the screen, uh, offensive and defensive stats, um, home and, and road record splits. That's pretty important. Like for, um, let's say, if one of our teams, Winnipeg or the Ducks were playing, let's see. Yeah, so, for example, Winnipeg, they're on the road tomorrow night, right? So, it's showing here the road record is 8, 7, and 4. So, they're okay on the road, and you, we can work with that, you know, still play with other guys and go with that. You know, um, those guys we looked at for the Winnipeg Jets. All right, so what else we got here? It'll show you the opponents and a lot of information here. And right now, this is not working to where it shows all the features on the spreadsheet for some reason. Uh, it worked really good on my... Oh, it's down here. Okay. So to give you, you know, odds, which you can find anywhere, of course, on a lot of sites anyway, but, you know, you know by position, you can look at this information here and these tabs here below. So... As you can see, you can start comparing, you know, the same thing that happens with um, NBA, and it shows a lot of different stats as far as, like, um, the percentage of usage is a good one that the team actually uses the player, like an NBA, to show, um, which is really one of the largest indicators because NBA is tough. Uh, you know, when a player is going to go off for 50 points or something like that. So, again, uh, tough on a nightly basis to keep up with all the information.